when you see a problem around you or when you see anything that needs to be solved, a situation, that problem does not tell you which discipline it belongs to. It doesn't say I'm an engine, I'm an electrical engineering problem or a mechanical engineering problem or a civil engineering problem. A problem is a problem which needs to be solved. So we need more engineers who will take the bull by the horns and get into any discipline which is required to solve that problem. In fact, we should also have people who are um, uh, in other disciplines, non non-engineers, non-scientists participating because uh, then, then they see the the synergy between policy issues such as for um, management of parking uh, of uh, smart cities, smart highways, smart uh, appliances and the impact of policies on the technology and vice versa. Now I teach along with a colleague of mine, uh, Professor Kritivasan, a subject called embedded systems at IIT Bombay. Now embedded systems are basically machines which have computers inside them which you don't see. Now these are at the heart of most appliances that you see around, whether it's a mobile phone, avionics system in a, an aircraft, the intelligent dashboards in cars, TVs, other appliances or what have you. Plus you need the self-esteem and confidence to believe that you can build these kind of products, which unfortunately the kind of students that we turn out at our engineering colleges don't have these qualities. How do we create and seed and incubate these kind of qualities in our engineering students is what really e-antra is all about. What makes the e-antra robotics competition special is that it needs no experience other than a can-do attitude and basic programming knowledge. The idea behind starting the robotics competition was that students don't enjoy rote learning in a classroom. They want to have some fun along with learning. And we feel that competition is a good way of making learning with fun and learning through competition. This whole competition is not just uh, of coming up with a solution, but also to present it, to document it, and all these skills are developed among the students. So it becomes a holistic learning experience. July month, the Yantra online competition is held. Tachanantar, I am here. Some selected teams put here. Hello, and Tachanantar, there are very deadlines. Month, the work is done. The daily task is done. The complete is done. The submissions, proper documentation. So, from A to Z, the whole process is done. We are here. And here, we are here. फक्त महाराष्ट्र ने क्या फक्त पर्टिकुलर डिस्ट्रिक्ट में तो नसुंतर पूर्ण देशातला सगरा स्टूडेंट्स पर और कंपीट कर रहे हैं अल्लो। Winning the e-antra competition for students gives them an opportunity to intern with us in the summer. Uh, this internship then provides them uh, more opportunities to work with us further for a longer period of time. Uh, besides that, these students also are uh, stand to benefit because they get to uh, mix with a lot of students from IIT, from various disciplines, meeting with faculty, going to the labs, uh, seeing other labs and see how they work and see what more uh, things that they can do for themselves. It's very interesting that in the first year, without any advertising, we had about 4,500 students take part in it. The second year, we had 6,500 students take part. And this year, we had 12,500 students take part in this competition. The e-antra lab setup initiative ELSI helps a college set up an embedded systems and robotics lab. A robotics lab is a mandatory component, it's becoming more and more so in all the colleges. Instead of doing it on their own, uh, ELSI helps them by giving robotic kits, free robotic kits, and also training the teachers such that by the time the teachers are trained, the colleges establish their labs and all these labs are inaugurated simultaneously.
training teachers is a big challenge, especially in hands-on experiments. Because you know, you give two days workshop, you can impart some knowledge, but to get them to work with a robot, that takes much longer time. They have to practice with the robot. And this is why the E-Anthra Robotics Teacher Competition is very successful because we take them through a competition over a period of time and during this period we give them small tasks and they execute these tasks, learn in the process and finally they'll compete in a finals. Even though teachers initially, you know, are afraid, you know, or inhibited and they say that this may not happen with me, we know that from our experience with the 100 colleges that have already established the labs and trained their teachers, at the end of the competition, they're so enthusiastic, so proud, so self-confident that all these things add, you know, the, the whole exercise of going through the competition, change their attitude and they become really experts in, that, in this field. जब स्टार्ट किया था तो कुछ भी किसी को भी शायद नहीं आता था इनिशियली हम लोग इतना सच बोलिए तो वो यूएसबी केबल भी कनेक्ट नहीं कर पाए थे <laughs> हम जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल मैकेनिकल के मैम मैकेनिकल की सर इलेक्ट्रिकल के हैं मैम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स की हैं धीरे 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 कंटिन्यूस मतलब तीन महीने तक हम लोग जूझते रहे उससे कि चीज़ होगी अब होगी होगी कल भी लोगों के रोबोट में आ जा रही थी ये सारी चीज़ हम लोग फेस कर चुके थे तो इसीलिए आज हम सब देख रहे थे कि किस स्टेप पर हम लोग ने क्या किया they are all set now to start turning be projects which are a wasted opportunity in colleges nowadays into a medium for turning ideas into innovation and into potential products and prototypes and things like that in extreme climates like in north india uh, a lot of manual labor is required to maintain household plantations. We, we, pro we provide a web interface where you just have to put in the temperatures and uh, uh, we, it, it automatically uh, provides shade to the plant when it's too hot and it automatically provides a cooling, uh, it, it automatically starts a cooling fan, fan when it's too hot. The ENCRA project has been very successful in reaching out to a large set of populations which are not usually covered. For example, uh, the Northeast is becoming part of the exercise and um, the people who come into it see the benefits on a first-hand basis. Even if they're not winners, just participating in it, exciting their population of students and teachers and administrators and the uh, neighborhood communities that they serve uh, has been enormous, enormously beneficial for them as well as for us. Annual e Yantra Symposium. Now, how do you keep the teachers motivated and updated throughout the years, right? So now we have this notion of e Yantra Symposium where once a year at the moment, teachers come together at IIT Bombay to share their experiences, to be updated by us and to see what is happening in the other labs and how they might best take advantage of these labs. And we introduce them to new material that they might teach and we share with them everything that we have. One of the courses that has been prescribed for the uh, BTEC in Innovation with Maths and IT is Embedded Systems through eYantra, which the students are going to do it in the seventh semester. The system now that we are following, you know, and the way Eantra has developed the module is such that these three students, when they came back to CIC, they train their juniors. The juniors are not training their juniors, which is a third batch. And the students are also going on forward, you know, to run some workshops, you know, they have modified it a little bit, you know, so that even the school students can adopt to it. We are dreaming in the sense that one day, IIT Bombay will announce it to other states 
that for carrying out a part of the program of e jantra in your state a team from bengal is being sent they are quite able they know the job very good and they will be very nicely mentoring and guiding you i look forward to that day if we i compare it to various other projects which use ict in education be it in e content or be it in terms of pedagogy or uh, be it in terms of certain other uh, initiatives is quite unique in terms of its direct applicability to the industrial situations and its direct applicability to the you know a real world uh, it won't take much uh, or long time uh, uh, from concept to the actual practical application uh, through this particular project we need to make sure that the labs that are established are used properly and nice projects are implemented innovative projects are implemented in these labs so this is why eantra has launched the eantra ideas competition in this competition teams from colleges where there are already eantra labs they are mentored by their own teacher who's trained by elsi and they submit an idea initially and then they implement their idea for, as a solution to a local problem so this is a very exciting um, competition where we are addressing the sustainability aspect of the eantra project what we are trying to do is that we are trying to take this talented new young generation of ours and help them find their true place in the global economy of tomorrow